Hi folks, uh, this is a quick video tutorial to help those people that are trying to use a trick that's been around for a few years uh, to get around some of the launcher installation problems of the game uh, where for whatever reason on your particular computer the launcher has a hard time getting patches to apply correctly. Sometimes there's error codes, sometimes you get stuck in a loop where the game just keeps downloading and downloading over and over and won't install, and thus you can't play. Uh, the trick involves uh, having Steam on your computer, uh, allowing Steam to install the game, apply all the patches, keep it up to date. It does that very well. I don't think anybody's ever said they've had patching problems with Steam. But for whatever reason, you don't want to play through Steam. You still want to play through the regular web installation. Uh, so what you're doing is you're letting Steam maintain the game, and then anytime there's a patch or an update, you're copying the game folder from Steam over to the web installation, and then you're playing it the older traditional way that's been around for years. Um, it works. It works very well. I've done it a few times myself when I've had problems with the web installation, which is what I normally play myself. Um, so I'll just show you how I do it real quick. It only takes a couple of minutes. Uh, first thing you need to do is locate your web installation, which for me is on my C drive, in Program Files x86, down in the Hunter. So there's the installation right there. Uh, an artwork folder, the game folder, which is what we're going to be dealing with, the launcher, that's where the launcher is at, and I, an uninstall program. Um, the problem is this game folder is messed up. There's something wrong with it, and the patcher just doesn't seem to be able to fix it. So what you do is just right-click it and delete it. Now it's gone. Don't worry about what was in it. Just delete the whole thing. Uh, if you also happen to see a downloads folder in here, delete that too. Uh, you may not see it. That's fine. But if you do, delete it. If you have trouble deleting it, you may need to reboot your computer so that it gets closed and then, then come back and try to try to delete it. But when you're done, you should really just have these two folders and these two files. Okay? Now, go find your Steam installation. Could be on your C drive. Also, mine is on my D drive. It will also be in Program Files x86 under Steam. Steam Apps, Common, The Hunter, you see also a Primal installed, The Hunter, and in there you'll see a game folder and a launcher folder. All you want is this game folder. You don't want anything else. You already have the launcher installed, and, and the, the Steam launcher is different than the web launcher. Not much, they're almost identical, but they are different. So just highlight the game folder, right click, and say copy. All right. So you now have the uh, the entire six gigabyte game folder of, from Steam in your clipboard. Now go back to wherever your uh, web installation is. Again, mine's on my C drive, x86, the Hunter. See, no game folder because we deleted it. Now right click and paste. Uh, this may take a couple minutes, depending on the speed of your hard drives. Uh, if you're copying it from one place on the same hard drive to another place on the same hard drive, it may be faster or slower. Um, I'm copying it from my Steam is on my D drive, which is a physical hard drive. Uh, and the web installation of the Hunter is on my C drive, which is an SSD. Uh, it looks like I'm getting about 150 megabytes per second, so this will just be done in a few seconds here. All right, and there we go. So it's back. And just so you know what's in the game folder if you've never looked, uh, there's the game itself, the hunter.exe. That's the executable that the launcher starts. Uh, some log files, some DLLs. Um, locales, I believe, is all the different language packs. PY, I think, is some Python script files. Sound is just, I think that's like the game music that when you start the, the reserve, the music that plays. Uh, 
archives is where the bulk of the game is. These big one gigabit arc files are where all, I'm guessing, all the textures and everything are at. But that's that's the important stuff that's usually getting patched. Uh, icons, uh, it's empty. Okay. But you don't need to worry about anything. I just need to copy that game folder from the good working Steam version over here. All right, so let's test it out and see if it worked. Um, I usually start the game from a desktop icon here. Uh, give it a shot, make sure everything's fine. See the web version is uh, right now, the launcher is version 803, and the, the game itself is 2016, November 3rd, 01. And as you can see, it came up. There's no error codes. It's not trying to download, so it, it sees the new copied installation. Just to verify everything, we'll start a game real quick. Hirschfeld games function just fine with the new patch that came out uh, yesterday the 9th. Uh, switch over to windowed mode. It's working fine too. Put the game. There we are. And for those of you who launch off the website, I said I don't do that, but I uh, understand a lot of people probably still do. There it is. And click Hunt Now. Start the launcher. See the version's all the same. And there we are. No downloads, no patching. So it all worked. If you uh, have any questions, go ahead and... Uh, Go ahead and drop them on that thread, and I'll, I'll try to catch them and answer them for you. But like I said, it's pretty easy to do, uh, and it gets you around the problem if you're one of the people that has issues with the uh, the web patcher getting stuck, breaking, looping infinitely. Just let Steam update it for you. You don't have to play through Steam. You're just letting Steam do the work, uh, and then play it normally. Thanks.